Canada has expelled a senior Indian diplomat on Tuesday after the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, accused Indian government agents of killing Khalistani leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar, lamenting the India-Canada relationship further. In a retaliation move, India went ahead and expelled a top Canadian diplomat based in India. The concerned diplomat has been asked to leave India within the next five days. Who is Hardeep Singh Nijjar? Hardeep Singh Nijjar was an alleged Khalistani activist associated with banned Indian separatist group Sikh for Justice. He was declared a designated terrorist by India in the year 2020. Now, he was shot dead outside a Sikh temple on 18th of June in British Columbia by unknown assailants. The Prime Minister of Canada said that the Canadian intelligence had identified a credible link between his death and the Indian state. In fact, Justin Trudeau went ahead and raised the matter with US President Joe Biden. However, India has strongly rejected the allegations. India's foreign ministry described the claims as absurd and politically motivated. Canada has seen a rise in anti-India activities over the past few years, which has strained the relationship between the two nations. Temples in parts of Canada have been attacked. The Khalistani separatists have targeted Indian diplomats and Indian embassies in Canada at multiple occasions. India has always strongly criticized Canada for giving its support to Khalistani groups involved in anti-India activities. And Canada has accused India of interfering in its domestic politics. In fact, even when Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was in India for the G20 Leaders' Summit, Khalistani separatists had called for a referendum in Canada. They used objectionable language against Indian leadership and made remarks against the territorial integrity of India. Earlier, the negotiations for a free trade agreement between India and Canada were also stalled. The sources cited certain political developments in Canada as a reason for the pause in the negotiations.